Hi, it's Hilton here from Porterville, and I hope that disruptive beginning got your attention. Because what I want to tell you about could be life-changing for you. The ideal travel electric wheelchair, and why the strange new Porterville contraption is replacing electric wheelchairs and mobility scooters. If you're in a wheelchair, manual or electric, or even if you're just struggling to walk lately, and you're looking at getting a wheelchair or a mobility scooter, then please watch how the amazing Porterwheel wheelchair power assist will smash your mobility barriers just as it has done for hundreds of mobility impaired individuals around the globe. To start off with, the Porterwheel fits almost all manual wheelchairs and the Easy Fit clamp fits wheelchair tubing from 22.2mm right up to 31.8mm and also oval tubing found on some models. Here you can see all the high quality attachment accessories, all of them high tensile stainless steel and aluminium alloy and able to withstand all the required forces according to international safety standards. Attaching the porter wheel to your wheelchair the first time is normally a half hour job for the slightly technical, but if you've ever put together an IKEA bookshelf you should be able to do it in less than an hour. In the next video you will see how easy it is. But first, you have to assemble the tow bar and tow hitch, and this should not take longer than 5 to 10 minutes. You can start off by inserting these crossbar brackets into the tube clamps, with the cam locks pointing outwards, and the crossbar brackets pointing inwards, and with the screw threads for the safety pins at the bottom. You can see how to do it in the next video. Thereafter, you can attach the tow hook to the angle clamp, and then the other side of the angle clamp to the cross member. Choose the short one for narrow wheelchairs and the longer one for wider wheelchairs. Also remember to use the wider clamps in the plastic bag if your wheelchair tubes are too thick and use the rubber pad together with the tube clamps if your wheelchair has oval tubes. That's it, you're done assembling the parts and now we have to attach the parts to your wheelchair. Keep the grub screws finger tight as we will need to make some adjustments before tightening them with the included allen wrench. Remember I said to use the wide clamps without the spacer blocks if your wheelchair has larger tubes and to use the rubber liners in the packet should your wheelchair have oval tubes and now it is simply a matter of attaching the tube clamps to your wheelchair as indicated in the video. You can see that the cam clamps in this case are pointing inwards and the tow bar brackets attached to the tube clamps have the safety pin holes pointing backwards and with the holes with the screw thread at the bottom. This is the preferred method of attachment for all standard wheelchairs, but you can play with the configuration of the attachments should your wheelchair be slightly different. Here you can see an alternative method of attachment to the horizontal tubes for the sake of keeping the leg rest nubs clear. Here you can see how easy the hookup procedure is if you've done everything right. Adjust the tow bar sticking out of the porter wheel at an angle of approximately 40 degrees pointing downwards, and the front of the tow hook on the wheelchair roughly horizontal and what is crucial is that the latch bolt on the porter wheel matches the height of the bottom slot on the wheelchair tow hook. Now what if you want to fold your wheelchair up as in this picture? Well it's easy and takes less than a minute. Simply undo the safety pins and slide the tow bar out and now you can fold your wheelchair up and pop it into your car boot together with your porter wheel. Well enough of that for now but it was crucial that you understand just how simple it is to connect the porter wheel to your wheelchair. Now, let's unhitch it and put it through its paces on different terrains. Firstly, let's look how easy and practical it is to hook the porter wheel up to your wheelchair. Just line your wheelchair up so the latch on the wheelchair tow bar slots into the bottom slot of the porter wheel tow hook and put your wheelchair's brakes on. Now switch your porter wheel into reverse gear and push the handlebar forward while reversing a little. And you will see how the front casters of your wheelchair lift up and the tow hook automatically and securely latches onto the porter wheel. Now all you have to do is twirl and tighten the high tensile safety pin into the threaded hole and you are ready to go. To start off with we are taking it inside the house and even though it's a longer wheelbase makes it less maneuverable than our porter shopper wheelchairs for in-house use, it still has a surprisingly tight turning circle and when used with a reverse gear it's capable of providing more than acceptable maneuverability in-house and on cruise ships. Obviously, you can just unhitch the porter wheel and maneuver your wheelchair in the house in manual mode. It does an excellent job in shopping malls though. 
Next, we are going to take it outside and demonstrate the six different speed settings. Now, before we start, I have to point out that there are two models of the Porter wheel. The first is the Porter wheel 380 with a range of 38 kilometers per charge and a top speed of about 25 kilometers an hour. The model we are demonstrating here is the Porter wheel 680 turbo with a range of between 40 and 50 kilometers depending on terrain and a top speed of approximately 38 kilometers per hour. We will start at the slowest speed, which is an absolute crawl and which is completely safe and perfect for in-house use or crowded areas and for those with limited dexterity and awareness. Next, we will move on to walking speed, which is between 5 and 8 kilometers an hour and this setting is ideally suited to riding on pavements or less crowded open areas. Thereafter, we will move to fast speed and here we will be traveling at about 15 kilometers an hour which is perfect for use when going to the shops or visiting your friends in the neighborhood. After that, there is still a turbo setting for each of those three speeds, which effectively doubles the non-turbo speeds. And this allows for a top speed of up to 38 kilometers an hour, making it ideal for city driving or long commutes. Please check with your local city council about registration and third party insurance requirements for your Porter wheel as it probably is classified as a mobility scooter. Before using your porter wheel at high speed, it is essential that your auto mechanic checks out your wheelchair to see if it would be roadworthy at such high speeds. Most good brands will be okay. The porter wheel does ship with excellent disc brakes and a built-in torsion suspension system providing a very comfortable and safe ride, but your manual wheelchair was probably never designed for very high speeds and thus you need to ensure that your wheelchair can cope with it. One of the most important benefits of the Porter wheel is its ability to cope with just about anything that your wheelchair can cope with and because of its front wheel drive pulling mode it can clear obstacles of up to 10 centimeters high and is powerful enough to go up inclines of up to 20 degrees and since you have the option of adjusting the clearance of the front casters there's just about no street gutter or ramp that would be too steep for it. For this reason, it can be reliably used to commute around the city or tourist attractions with cobblestone streets or third world environments. It is ideal for traveling. Now some of you may be wondering just how portable the porter wheel is, and this is how simple it is. Just remove the safety pins and slide the drawbar out, and now you can fold up your wheelchair and put it in the car boot. Next, you can use the locking keys to remove your battery and fold the handlebar of the porter wheel down. Just pick it up and put it in the boot next to your folded wheelchair or use the seat belt to secure it onto the passenger seat. The turbo unit only weighs 12.8 kilograms without the 4.5 kilogram battery whereas the standard porter wheel weighs less than 10 kilograms without the battery and the battery weighs only 2.5 kilograms. This means that both models are capable of being lifted into the car by registered caregivers according to the Occupational Health and Safety Act. They would love not having to push their patients around anymore and their patients would love having the independence and mobility that the porter wheel provides. Now as you can see the porter wheel can go further, faster and over rough and hilly terrain that most mobility scooters will find really tough if not impossible. But best of all is that you can simply pop it in the car boot and take off for the city and once you've parked your car Lifting the porter wheel out of the car and hooking it up to your wheelchair is very simple. Once you're in it, you become the king of the road. And when in the parking garage, you can either take the ramp like cars do, or you can take the elevator, or the train, or the tram, or the plane. But when you take it onto the streets, the porter wheel comes alive and offers you the kind of mobility that even those without mobility problems find hard to believe. Well, I'm not going to say much more than that. You can simply watch and see what incredible mobility and portability the porter wheel will give you. And think of the extent to which this kind of mobility can help you to re-establish and enjoy your own independence. Is it hard for you to find a job because prospective employers simply don't want to deal with your mobility issues? Not anymore. Will you have to struggle along and endure endless patronizing or even worse? being treated as a substandard object by some cruel and callous ignoramus? Not anymore. Would you have to forego traveling by plane to far away and wheelchair unfriendly destinations? Not anymore. 
Would you have to wait for special wheelchair taxis for hours because your old and heavy electric wheelchair cannot be taken onto normal taxis or public transport? Not anymore. Would you have to give up on getting the most out of your cruise ship holidays and forget about getting around at foreign destinations? Not anymore. Would you have to bow out when your family goes to the park or outdoor markets or outdoor events such as air shows and trade exhibitions? Not anymore. Would you have to sit out when the kids decide to play catch in the park or touch rugby or frisbee? Not anymore. As you can see, the Porter Wheel truly provides you with limitless horizons and will certainly change your life in more ways than you can imagine. When last could you feel empowered to reach your full potential because you do not practically have a mobility limitation any longer, but rather a mobility advantage. To go ahead, simply purchase online and get full PayPal buyer protection or contact us for a proper quote. Payment can be made via bank transfer, credit card or telegraphic transfer. And you can see our website for our launch special. And remember that what will happen if you don't decide? Nothing. That's right. Nothing will happen. And yet for all of us, our time to be happy is slipping away. If you decide today, you'll start experiencing the thrill of unlimited horizons for your life. And what could be better? Uh oh, I almost forgot to mention the terms and warranty conditions. The Porter Wheel ships with a 12 month unconditional exchange warranty on all parts and shipping is for your charge. When obvious abuse or water immersion is the cause of the claim, we will only offer you a replacement part at our cost. We also have a 60 day full money back guarantee if the unit is returned as new, but charge a 15% fee if we need to refurbish it. Shipping costs would be for your account. The unit ships with two universal 120 volt to 240 volt charging units, one for deep cycle charging, that's a 1.5 amp unit, and one for quick charging, a 3 amp unit. Returns on the basis of the unit being too heavy or hard to control are not entertained. We can set the motorcycle twist throttle up on the left or right hand side, but you need the dexterity and shoulder movement to safely control it. We also expect you to see if you can lift the weights as advertised before ordering, as it being too heavy is not really a valid reason for return, especially when you can test the weights beforehand. Once again, thanks for watching and all the best.